now we are discussing about types of cell death so there are two type necrosis and apoptosis we have discussed in separate video about necrosis and apoptosis so you can watch that video also in this we will see for differences we look for differences so necrosis is always pathological apoptosis is both pathological and physiological in necrosis membrane damage is occurring which is lead to leakage of the cellular contents out of the cell but in apoptosis no membrane damage so there will be no leakage okay and if leak cellular contents will leak then it will cause inflammation but in apoptosis cell cellular contents is not leak so there will be no inflammation in necrosis cellular swelling occur in apoptosis your cellular shrinkage will occur okay in necrosis dna breakdown is random but in apoptosis dna is broken down in fragments of 180 to 200 nucleotides okay so these are the basic differences between the apoptosis and necrosis now we will look for types of necrosis clear one more thing if you do agarose dna electrophoresis in both necrotic and apoptotic cells then you will find a smeared pattern in necrosis and a step ladder pattern in apoptosis now we will look for types of necrosis so the first is your coagulative necrosis this is most common type seen okay this is most common time seen when there will be case of ischemia okay this type of necrosis is more common is associated with ischemia clear a localized area of coagulative necrosis is also known as infarct now in this in coagulative necrosis injury leads to the enzymes injury any injury okay occurring to the cell will lead to the denaturation of enzymes which is responsible for lysis the dead cell once again i am repeating in this necrosis if the cell injury is occurring then it will lead to denaturation of those enzymes which is responsible for lysing the dead cell so i have written enzyme mean to lyse the dead cell are denatured themselves so dead enucleated brightly eosinophilic cell remain as they are okay till inflammatory cells come and lyses them so enzymes which are mean to lyse the cells is not doing lysis here because they are denatured okay so inflammatory cells will come and phagocytize or lysis those cells now this coagulative necrosis is seen in all organs except your brain now the next one is liquefactive necrosis in this digestion of dead cell will occur which lead to the viscous liquid mass like appearance okay in this digestion of cell dead cell will occur it is generally seen in bacterial and fungal inflammation okay in bacterial and fungal inflammation there will be brisk inflammation inflate and along with dead or dead organism along with dead wbc wbc later on become dead after phagocytizing okay so dead organism plus dead wbc forms a creamy yellow necrotic material okay which is called as pus so in liquefactive necrosis you will find pus and this liquefactive necrosis is generally seen in hypoxia death in bare brain now next is your gangrenous necrosis so this is again divided into two types dry gangrenous necrosis and wet gangrenous necrosis so dry is due to loss of blood supply okay and it then it is a dry gangrenous is a type of coagulative necrosis because coagulative necrosis was also related to ischemia condition means less oxygen supply wet gangrenous necrosis it is generally seen with different types of infections okay superadded infection on tissues that has died of ischemia okay so wet gangrenous necrosis is due to the added infections after ischemic cell and this is an example of liquefactive necrosis then next is your caseous necrosis is a special type of necrosis because it is combination of coagulative plus liquefactive along with there will be formation of granuloma okay granulomatous inflammation will occur so caseous necrosis combine these three in gross you will look for when you look for gas caseous necrosis it will look like cheese like material here it is seen in tuberculosis nocardia histoplasmosis histoplasmosis sorry next is your fat necrosis so in this there will focal areas of fat extraction they the cause may be trauma or lysis due to the enzyme leakage uh, in acute pancreatitis okay leakage of pancreatic enzymes from cell and it will liquefy fat cells and membranes okay which will release fatty acid okay and this fatty acid will combine with calcium salts means it is doing saponification with calcium salt which lead to your chalky white gritty deposits in peritoneum okay so there is leakage of pancreatic enzyme which is lead to the fat necrosis in peritoneum so acute pancreatitis is responsible for fat necrosis in peritoneum this is one important point this is an example of fat necrosis now the next one is fibrinoid necrosis so it is it is a special type of necrosis which is related with immune system 
and it generally occurs in vessels in this deposition of fibrin fibrin like material along the facial wall okay fibrinoid necrosis the name itself says there will be deposition of fibrin here and this can be seen in polyarthritis nodosa or rejection of transplant okay